Yo, 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 welcome back, welcome back. So today, we're gonna to get straight into this. We're gonna be looking at the Yeezy Runner Cream Clay. So without further ado, let's go. Okay, okay, so the first one we're gonna look at is the box, and it's the it's not a typical Yeezy box because I've actually got a kid size here. So it's a gray box, but instead of the slide drawer, what you get with most Yeezys, this is a like cake drawer, I call it. There's nothing really to this box. It's got nothing on the outside of it. On the side, it's got a sizing and a barcode, as you can see there. And underneath, it just got the usual adidas info or bump there inside the box you've got the usual brown paper and you've got the words foam and runner inside inside the brown paper is the yeezys themselves or foam runners i should say and let's just take a close look at one of these in hand so the first foam runner has the tags on it with the adidas logos and it says yeezy foam runner kids because this is a kid size got the usual barcode and the sizing on it and it tells you what size it is in UK, US, etc, etc. UK and US sizing on this is actually the same. Um, there's no difference like wherever you get Jordan 1s, the sizing is, if you, I don't know, if it was a, if you're size 12 in the UK, it'd be a size 13 in the US. So these are the same. Let's have a look at the shoe, the kick themselves, and let's start as we normally start. Let's start with the sole. Now it's got that membrane type of pattern like what you get on the Yeezy 700s on which is a lovely it's, it's just unique you know it's a Yeezy straight away it carries on through there are no holes in the bottom of the sole as such well there are no holes at all actually but where you'd see like little differences if it was a Yeezy 700 you'd see the Adidas Boost foam underneath it this is just one molded so if you don't know about foam runners, then it's made from an eco foam, which includes algae and eva, which is harvest from Kanye West's old farm somewhere along the line. I don't know. You'd have to have a look into that. But it's, it's a molded foam. So what you'll see at the bottom of the sole is where they cut the mold. It's like a little dimple, but it's just one basic mold. Um, it's in the unique foam runner design. There's a lot of ventilation on top. Um, if we start from the side, you see, you'll not see this design anywhere else. If you see this, you automatically know it's a Yeezy. What I've noticed with the kids one is there is a lot of where holes would be on the adults. They're not. Okay, so you've got holes at the side around the top near the ankle part of the shoe and around the bottom and around the heel with big holes as well. So ventilation is not a key issue here. What I do like, because it is kids and kids will trip over, etc. they've made it, I think it's stronger in the sense that they haven't put the holes near their toes or, you know, just a few holes at the top of the foot as well. So it keeps that kind of structure. This keeps that structure. It's a very structured shoe anyway. It's easy to get your foot in. You have to just pull them out to the side like that, as you can see. Inside the shoe, there's little kind of molded grips, as you can see there which make your foot stick. So even if you was wearing these without any socks, you'd be very comfortable in them and you wouldn't be sliding in and out of your shoes. In terms of the aspects, it looks weird. No lies about it, these look weird. But when you put them on your feet, the way they're designed, your heel slips into the back comfortably, it locks your foot in, and you know it's just a very comfortable kick. Kids are wearing Crocs these days. These, I think, would be probably better than kids' Crocs, even though I know Crocs do come with a strap for the heel. This is just one thing the kids just slip their foot straight into. You don't have to worry about. So I can, I'm not comparing them to Crocs because it's not a Crocs, but you can't deny that they're in that realm of thing of shoes or silhouettes because of the way they're made, the material they're used. And basically that's where it's always going to be compared. If I was to get these over the Crocs, maybe for a kid's size, I think these are cheaper than Crocs. But the problem is, is getting hold of them. Now, I know Kanye said he wants Yeezys for everyone and he's dropping untold silhouettes of these, I mean, untold colorways of these because 
you've got to remember, these were released in 2019, and since then he has been turning over different colorways every, not I'm gonna say every month, but very regular. The problem is though, they resell quite high because you can only get them on a confirmed app and they sell out quickly. So I got my hands on these, but I was rejected for my size and another size for someone else who wanted them. But, and these are the only ones I cop. So that's why the resale is still up there. Eventually, I think these will become more and more available to people. The resellings will slow down on these and, you know, it's going to be one where you can get them and a lot more people will be wearing them. Just like you see now, the Yeezy 350s, a lot of people are wearing those as well. This is a nice kick. There's not really much more to say. It's just one of those ones where you just have to look around the silhouette and enjoy. It's it's a marmite. It's a marmite kick. Either you love it or you hate it. I didn't understand them, but when I got myself a pair and I put my foot in them, I haven't. I've still got them. That that that's that's all I can say. I've still got them. I haven't, I haven't worn them outside. I don't know when I would wear them outside, but there's going to be a time when I will wear them. Um, and I'm kind of looking forward to it, honestly. I just want the right time, if you know what I mean. So there's nothing much more to say. I'd say on the inside, uh, I can't really see too much. There's a lot of grips to grip your feet, a lot of indents, etc., etc. Do have a sticky label inside, which again confirms it's made in China. It has a sizing, etc., etc., which you normally get in any shoes. That will come out. It's not going to stay in there. It's just a little sticky label. Yeah, so here we have it. We have the... Uh, Yeezy Foam Runner Kids Mix Cream Clay, which gives a marble effect, as you can see. And what you'll also notice is that no foam runner is exactly the same. The patterns are completely different on each shoe, as you can see there. From left and right, it's similar, like, but it's never the same, which is really nice, actually. So there we have it. Like I said, Yeezy Foam Runner Kids. Cream clay, it's a must.